Why did a cruise missile labeled Made in Pakistan prompt the Indian military to revise its border defense plans overnight? The answer may lie in the summer of 2025 on the parade grounds of Islamabad, when two eight-wheeled trucks carrying white cylindrical objects drove past Jinnah Stadium. The bright red Fata 4 markings on the cylinders gleamed under the scorching sun. This new cruise missile with a range of 750 kilometers sparked intense debate among Western military observers upon its debut. While it boasts Baidu navigation-enabled 5-meter precision and the ability to penetrate at ultra-low altitudes of 50 meters, its range falls short of half that of the U.S. Navy's Tomahawk Block 4, drawing widespread skepticism. Behind this seemingly contradictory technological puzzle lies the unique path taken by developing nations to break through military technology blockades. What truly strikes fear into opponents is not the FAF 4's range parameters, but its ghost-like penetration capability that disrupts traditional air defense systems. When flying at 0.7 Mach speed close to the ground, its 50-meter cruise altitude is even lower than the tip of New Delhi's tallest building, the Kotub Minor Tower. This snake-like maneuvering is achieved through the perfect synergy of three technologies, a composite guidance system combining Baidu-3 satellites and inertial navigation, automatically switches to a three-frequency anti-jamming mode, when India activates GPS jamming, and a I-terrain matching engine preloaded with digital elevation maps, enabling the missile to navigate through radar detection blind spots like a cheetah, and a dual-mode seeker at the terminal stage that activates infrared imaging and active radar scanning at 15 kilometers. With image recognition algorithms capable of penetrating the Israeli Sky Dome jamming system deployed by the Indian military, at a cost of $2.3 billion. This capability was brutally tested during the Kashmir conflict in May 2025, after 20 launch vehicles fired simultaneously along a 200-kilometer front line. They retreated into tunnels in the Hindu Kush mountains. Multiple missiles precisely penetrated the ventilation shafts of the Brahmas missile warehouse, triggering a chain reaction of explosions three levels underground. India's S-400 air defense system was powerless against this. The radar's detection range for ultra-low altitude targets was compressed to 30 kilometers, with only a 15-second decision window from detection to interception. However, when focusing on the propulsion system, the range limitations of the FATF-4 become evident. Hidden within the 0.52-meter diameter engine compartment at the missile's tail is what appears to be an outdated turbojet engine. This contrasts sharply with the F-107W or 450 turbofan engine used in the Tomahawk Block 4, a generational gap akin to a diesel engine, facing a hybrid engine's superior technology. While turbojet engines are simple and cost-effective, they come at the cost of staggering fuel consumption, Fuel consumption rates exceed 1.2 kg and h, nearly twice that of the Tomahawk. More critically, there is a significant gap in material and manufacturing technology, while the Tomahawk's carbon fiber wings weigh only 42 kg. The FATF-4's metal wings weigh 67 kg, an additional weight equivalent to carrying 30 liters less fuel. This inherent deficiency causes the missile's theoretical range to shrink by nearly 20% when cruising at 0.7 Mach compared to its actual range. To break through the 750-kilometer threshold, Pakistani engineers had to forcibly extend the hull of the Naval Harbour anti-ship missile by 7.5 meters and expand the fuel tank by 40 percent, barely crossing the threshold of strategic deterrence. Facing the generational gap in propulsion systems, the Pakistani defense industry team achieved a breakthrough through three innovations. The Chinese-made Tyon, TAS-5380 off-road chassis grants it a maneuverability of 80 km per hour. When deployed in the central Pakistani city of Multan, the Indian flag flying atop the Prime Minister's office in New Delhi falls within its range. If moved forward to the mountainous regions of Balakistan province, it can directly target the INS Tanaji Naval Headquarters on the Mumbai coast. Cost control further establishes a decisive advantage. Each FATF-4 missile costs approximately US$1.2 million. United States dollars just one quarter the price of India's Brahmas missile. With the support of production lines funded by Chinese aid, Pakistan Global Industrial and Defense Solutions Company's annual output could fill three standard football fields, providing the material foundation for swarm tactics. What most unsettles India is Pakistan's customary strategic ambiguity strategy, as evidenced by the PL-15E air-to-air -air missile unveiled at the 2024 Saudi Defense Exhibition, whose actual combat range was reverse overstated from the claimed 145 km to 200 km. This psychological deterrence forced the Indian military to relocate its border ammunition depots 300 km back, tripling defense costs. Now, with the FATA-4, Claimed to have a range of 750 kilometers, who dares to say it hasn't, activated speed-limited mode.
The success of the FATA 4 is no accident, it is deeply empowered by China's military industrial system. The Baidu 3 military code signal achieves positioning accuracy of 0.5 meters in the complex terrain along the India-Pakistan border, far surpassing the 3-meter error margin of GPS civilian code. The Baidu ground-based augmentation technology validated in the Lansang River Hydropower Station project in 2025 further enhances missile positioning stability by 40% in the Kashmir valleys. The launch vehicle's fire control system directly adopts the phased array radar from China Electronics Technology Group Corporation Institute 14, enabling simultaneous allocation of strike sequences for eight targets. The newly established Rocket Force Command of the Pakistani military is modeled after China's Rocket Force Long Range Artillery Brigade structure. Combining the 400 km range Fateh 2 and Fateh 4 missiles in mixed formations, the former uses a barrage of missiles to penetrate the frontline air defense network while the latter targets deep penetrating command nodes, specifically countering India's cold start lightning warfare strategy. This systematic combat model demonstrated remarkable effectiveness during the August 2025 exercise, using real-time image guidance from drones. The FATA-4 successfully hit a moving T-90 tank formation 300 kilometers away. With the entire process from target lock to destruction taking only 90 minutes, a 70% reduction compared to the Indian Army's Brahma's decision-making process. While India rushed to procure additional S-500 systems to intercept the FATA-4, Pakistani engineers were tackling a more fundamental challenge. Rather than chasing the illusory 1,600 kilometer range, they focused on making every meter within 750 kilometers a deadly no-go zone. This strategic wisdom is manifested in three design elements, adopting modular warheads to achieve both nuclear and conventional capabilities, with the ability to switch to nuclear warheads within six hours, forcing India to hesitate about escalation risks in conventional conflicts, establishing a timely strike system, compressing reaction time to one-third of the opponent's decision-making cycle, implementing ecological suppression, where the FATA-4 missile, which can be rapidly deployed to form an actual deterrent, contrasts with India's daring missile, which has a range of 1,000 kilometers but has repeatedly failed in tests. The direct consequence is that the Indian military has been forced to withdraw its Su-30 MKI fighter patrol lines by 150 kilometers, resulting in a 35% drop in air superiority efficiency. The skies over South Asia have never been so crowded, while Tomahawk missiles trace elegant arcs over the Persian Gulf, the FATA-4 glides through the valleys of Kashmir, at near crawling speeds. While a 750 km range may reflect the technological limitations of a developing nation, the Baidu navigation system's millimeter level positioning, the ghostly penetration capability of flying just 50 meters above the ground, and the mobile salvo capability of three missiles per vehicle collectively weave a precise kill network spanning the subcontinent. Just as the dust kicked up by the Tyon truck at the Islamabad military parade, true strategic balance does not lie in the highest entries on a spec sheet but in the trembling lips of an adversary calculating the cost of defense. As India's Economic Times laments the threefold surge in border defense budgets, the FATF-4 has proven in the harshest manner. In asymmetric warfare, a precise short sword often holds greater deterrent power than a cumbersome spear.